Before digging into the specific mastering tools, let's take a brief look at the suitable processors that are included with Pro Tools. As I mentioned in the last video, the three main processors used in mastering are EQ, compression, and limiting, specifically brick wall limiting. Occasionally, mastering sessions might call for the use of other tools, like reverb or an exciter, and while these may not be needed often, they could still be included in a mastering engineer's bag of tricks. Both regular Pro Tools and Pro Tools Ultimate include examples of all these processors suitable for mastering use. But a more comprehensive mastering toolbox would include not only bread and butter processing, but also more specialized tools that can offer more mastering specific features and capabilities. Of course, there are many third party companies that have excellent collections dedicated to mastering operations. But you can stay in a house with the Avid Complete plugin bundle, an inexpensive subscription package that includes, in addition to a large collection of mix processors, a good number of plugins that provide additional mastering tools including a large collection of analog style character processors and some dedicated mastering units like a multiband compressor and a brick wall limiter that incorporates all the metering options needed to prepare audio for modern broadcast and streaming use. As I noted in the last video, since this course is about mastering in Pro Tools, I'm going to stick to just the plugins that either come with Pro Tools or are included in the companion Avid Complete plugin bundle. Out in the real world, no doubt many budding mastering engineers will turn to specialized third-party packages like Ozone from Isotope, a comprehensive all-in-one mastering tool, or dedicated mastering collections from companies like Waves and others. In fact, there are a couple of areas where you may have to turn to third-party options for certain mastering activities. Audio troubleshooting requires specific metering that you'll have to step outside the Pro Tools plug-in bundle combo to find. I'll touch on that towards the end of the course. And while MS processing, a specialized mastering technique, could in theory be done within Pro Tools, a more efficient approach would be to utilize a plugin to make quick work of converting a regular left right stereo mix to MS, where Pro Tools can take over and provide the necessary processing capability. Fortunately, all of these extras can be added to Pro Tools courtesy of some well respected free plugins, completing the Pro Tools mastering toolbox. Next up, I'll begin going through individual mastering processors, starting with EQ.